Okay guys, the last video from World Thrift. Um, don't forget to keep your eyes open for linens and curtains that could be of the genre you're looking for. Um, there's a lot of really nice stuff in this store. Also cowhide rugs or really large uh, yarn woven rugs, which are mid-century. Those are always great to find if you can come across them. These are the rugs here. Um, an interesting little note, I'm heading over to the scarves and I did pull this one out, which I'm trying to source, which is really pretty and beautiful. It doesn't have a label, so that kills the sale. That's the first thing. Um, the second thing is that you need to know who it's by and usually the name of the maker is woven into the design somewhere. These these are really cool flags. This is a cotton flag and this is a, a kind of a light fabric flag. These are really cool flags. I'm heading over to scarves quickly and then we're going to head out um, as quickly about scarves. You'll know the ones that are uh, look potentially, you can tell the difference between this scarf very easily with the design and then this one. You can see the tackiness of this, this scarf versus this one. Um, the silk scarves are always very lush. This is a, a very kind of shiny coating. This has a little bit of a grating to it. So you can tell the silk and the shine of this one versus this one here. Um, there are some beautiful scarves in here. Um, I saw an Elaine Gold scarf that's not really worth a lot of money, but there's some fun, beautiful scarves from other vendors and other people that are not sought after. If you score a, an, an Urbanis uh, scarf, <laughs> you, that's like a $500 find if you can, if you can find it. Um, again, there are some beautiful ones in here. And you have to look. I am sourcing this one here. It has a, a polo motif. Um, there's no vendor name. Um, you can scan through these and very quickly know the ones that are polyester versus silk. Um, some of the larger, the really expensive ones are generally large because women also wrap their heads in them and they use them around their hair and also around their neck. So the, the really expensive ones are generally a lot larger. Um, however, you can find expensive smalls. This is very pretty too, but again, you can tell this is, it's a bit of a tacky, it's a, it's faux. You can immediately see that and you can feel it. It's faux. This is a nice one here. Um, and again, if, if you can score an Hermes or a Versace, you've made a couple of hundred dollars. And um, it has to have a label. Silk is very delicate. Um, there's always uh, imperfections and punch marks in because of the security buttons that they put in. You wanna be very careful that the scarf isn't torn. Um, this one here has some imperfections on the edges, as you can see, because they're actually, and there are some, a little bit of some holes here and there, but um, they're hand stitched around there. It's rolled, it's called hand rolled, hand rolled silk scarves, and they're rolled right at the end and they are stitched, um, hand stitched. So here we are at World Thrift. This is, I think, the last video. I'm gonna try to get one more in before the battery dies. And we haven't found too many things that we're looking for. I did like the Lucite stool, but I'm passing. It's too much money. And, um, and um, we'll pass on the Lucite stool. It's not something like at $25 or something that there's any profit margin in. So uh, on our way out.